is the act of the dog walking with you on the left side. And essentially it's achieved in one of two ways. A dog can't learn on a tight leash. When the leash is tight like this all the time, all he does is learn to resist that pressure. What we want to do is provide him to come to the leash. As such, we want to try and keep his attention as much as possible. He's a 14 week old puppy. His attention span is about as long as the attention span of a gnat. So basically, we have to keep him interested, and this work is only good for a couple minutes a day. Uh, a, couple, a couple of minutes, a couple times a day. I've taught him to target on my finger. Good. He knows it's good in my hand. When he was this, I allowed him to find the end of the leash. Good. By making opposing turns. I rewarded for the sit, not for his failure to heal. Good cut. Good boy. Stopping him so that he can sit automatically. Sit. Good. And again, I'm not yanking. I'm just applying enough pressure for him to be deterred by the struggle. So when he hits the end of the leash, essentially he's like, you know, he's pretty moderately uncomfortable. I don't think I want to do that. It's not about beating on him or yelling at him. It's about basically applying just enough control using the equipment so that he learns good, good. That the more attention he pays, the more attention he pays, the nicer his life is. Now there, he has a tendency to be really grippy. He grabbed my finger. Um, and when I went to correct him, it was much more mild. I just grabbed the side of the cheek right there until he basically decided to close his mouth off of my hand. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Nice job. Let's go. And again, the expectation is that he moved with me, not in opposition to me. So when I see him heading away, I move in opposition to him. He travels behind me. Pull him forward a little bit. Good boy. And I encourage him when he's right. Sit. Very nice. And reward him for his effort. 